Hello, collective, and welcome back. Ooh, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. Um, yeah, I've got grief and loss coming out. Um, I am getting a song that, honestly, personally, I've never liked the song. So I don't, I, I don't like it when they send me songs I don't like. Um, but anyway, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you. Okay. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, um, the smiley face emojis, all your positive vibes, you guys. Just thank you for being nice to me out here, okay? I really do, I do appreciate all of you. Um, all right, so we've got grief and loss coming out already. The song that they're giving me, is Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin, okay? And honestly, it's just giving me a really sick feeling because the only the only words that they're um, having me listen to is, and she's buying the stairway to heaven, right? Um, here's the thing. The feeling that I'm getting is there's a, a possibly a karmic feminine who's doing spell work um, to try to receive blessings. I feel like they're trying to kind of take your blessings or your energy, okay? I'm, I'm picking up that you would be heaven and somebody is paying for some kind of spell work. They're trying to buy um, those blessings, okay? So they're paying for some kind of spell work to, um, to take what you've got and it's you can't buy your way to heaven. So I feel like it's going to have major adverse effects. I feel like it already has major effects. This person, whoever is doing this, is getting nothing but grief and loss. You know, to, to get your divinity, you have to pray. You have to get closer to God. You have to do the work on yourself. You have to do your shadow work and heal from things. And you have to put in that effort. You can't just pay somebody, It you know, this isn't shopping, okay? You can't just pay someone to do the spell work and expect to receive somebody else's blessings. I feel like that's what they're doing, okay? Um, this person, they may be experiencing like um, a lot of financial loss right now. Uh, they may be having a really difficult time in work, finances, maybe even their health at this point. Okay, whatever they pay to try to take from you, I feel like that's <laughs> they're losing it even more. All right, if they if they pay to do a spell work on your beauty, um, they're losing theirs. All right, and you could be you could be noticing that your looks you've never looked better. Okay, um, I mean it can be something as like your beauty or your finances or your energy your abilities they're trying to take all of that paying for spell work to be done okay and that's not how you reach heaven <laughs> you can't buy your way into heaven okay um yeah boo um yeah they opened up a pandora's box of karma is what they did yeah, and I feel like, too, there's, um, there's, yeah, I feel like it's causing a lot of strife and grief, and, you know, this is turning somebody very volatile and crazy. I got to say, they're starting to get physical, maybe, with a masculine energy, and here you are. See, you're a chosen one. They try to do this to a chosen one. And you're out here living a peaceful life, so put yourself where you have to, right? It, you could either be the one who sent out the spell work, or you could be the one who's chosen and living at peace. Whoever is doing it, you can clearly see one is at peace and one is not, okay? And I feel like they tried to do some spell work and, and buy their way to heaven, and they can't. Um, somebody here, fire sign, uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. Take it how it resonates with you. I feel like there's a, with fire, that's energy, right? I feel like there's a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy. Um, this person is literally on fire with anger, right? Um, they could be suffering some kind of anger management issue right now. I, I feel like they're angry, maybe. They're t it's, it's almost like they're taking it out on the masculine. 
This is a karmic feminine who's been doing spell work. This, they opened up a Pandora's box, so all that spell work and any kind of entity they sent out is coming back on them, taking them over, and I feel like they're, they're taking it out on the masculine. I feel like this is a divine masculine, and um, whatever this is, whatever energy, I feel like at this point, I, I have to say, I'm feeling they, they unleash some kind of entity, okay? And I don't mean to scare anybody, right? But that's the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like they unleash some kind of entity. And this entity is angry, jealous, upset that they can't have your divinity, right? If they are currently with a divine masculine in a situation, this person is literally taken over with fury, and taking it out on the divine being that they have close to them. And that would be the masculine. Okay, do you get what I'm saying? They're suffering so much grief and loss too from this. Like it's, yeah, they're getting hit hard. And then we see somebody swinging punches. They're getting physical over there. Wherever your person is, I feel like they're... Um, it could turn physical, okay? I'm, I'm sensing, like, abuse or something, man. They just completely go off on this masculine. And I feel like um, this masculine could even be making a decision here, you know? They, they, they could be making a decision. They may even need to defend themselves against this, this karmic feminine. This is not good. I do not like this. I hope this masculine doesn't, like, um, get physical because they'll be cutting their nose off to spite their face. That They'll get in trouble for that. Um, but, yeah, the earth angel here, whoever, for whoever this is for, whoever is a chosen one living in peace, you, none of this is going to affect you. It's going to be okay. Um, yeah, there's. I feel like this could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's been avoiding dealing with this karmic now it's really bad you guys because of all the spell work they tried to they tried to buy their way into heaven and they can't yeah this earth sign um could be an earth sign the one who's been avoiding all of this right they're about to yeah if they get if if the fight gets too physical man they're gone they're going to be gone I'm telling you, they are going to be gone. They will cut out this karmic, yeah, because the karmic now is losing their mind. Losing their mind over this. Um, but I feel like it's the, it's the energy that they paid for and sent out. And if that energy can't have, like, um, I feel like they, they did some spell work, right, to attack what you've got going on and take it from you. All right, they paid for that heaven, right? But you're a chosen one, an earth angel. And it hasn't had any effect on you at all. You're still good. You know, it may have made you feel worried or self-conscious. It may have made you second guess yourself or not been confident in who you are. But no, now I feel like you're, you're fine, okay? Um, you're protected here. It's going to be okay. I feel like this is your spirit guides and the divine saying it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. You're good. But your person in, in avoiding what they needed to do in confronting this karmic, um, they're still there. And if that's a divine being, if they have a light and this karmic has opened up a Pandora's box. See, it says Pandora here. If they opened up a Pandora's box and let some kind of entity in with this spell work that they paid for to take from you, that entity is going to lash out at the light. They're upset, right? Anything that was sent to you is being returned to the karmic as well. So uh, um, it's almost as if they're possessed by whatever energy they paid for to send to you. But since the Divine Masculine is around them, they're attacking the Divine Masculine out of rage that it didn't work on you. Okay? 
Do you see what I'm saying? I hope you guys understand that. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, talking in circles. It does feel like I'm talking in circles. Um, yeah, you are not affected. You are not affected by any of this. Um, but this karmic is now overwhelmed by the own, their own spell work that they sent, and they're, they're lashing out at the masculine. Um, yeah, I feel the jail time here, water sign possibly, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like somebody is about to go to jail here for the fight. You may, you may already know about this. You could be picking this up um, through your intuition here or through your dreams. I feel like this, though, is what they tried to steal. Whatever it is that your, your abilities, your job that you do for the divine, your abundance, because if you're working for God, they're going to provide for you, right? Um, you're an earth angel here, a chosen one. They wanted to steal your peace. They wanted to steal your, um, your destiny. They wanted to steal it all, and they paid to have that done, and it didn't work. Because you can't buy your way to heaven, okay? Um, yeah, they wanted their life to completely change. Okay, but I feel like, um, and that's what this is. They wanted their life to, to change. Yeah, you're moving on um, to continue nurturing and healing. We got the great pretender here. I feel like somebody was very false in this relationship up here and this karmic is just raging raging but here's spirit trying to lead your masculine out of that situation okay they're trying to get them away from all of that karma and spell work they need they're trying to lead them to safety and i feel like yeah to get them away from all of the rage that's this entity this energy that this karmic has released but it's all in them now, okay? It didn't have any effect on you. It, it can't. You are protected here. Yeah, you're moving forward, right? You're moving on. Um, you're a star. You're a light worker, a chosen one, divine feminine energy, earth angel. <laughs> you know, um, you're moving on, and I feel like this karmic here, um, yeah, I feel like they wanted you to feel a life of lack. They wanted to change this around. They wanted your life, and they wanted you to have a life of, of lack, but God is out here, and God is like, no, you are spiritually led, okay? You're being spiritually led. So, yeah, it's all going back on them. I cannot make this, this stuff up, you guys. And I feel like there's a masculine out here with the great pretender here, and clearly in reverse. I feel like there's a masculine that's not going to pretend anymore. They're not going to run from this connection anymore. And they really, they really truly are being led out of a very raging situation here. They really are. There's a karmic that could end up going to jail for the fighting. Okay, it's a physical. They're getting physical here. See, there's that spell work. There's that spell work that they tried to send to you. I'm telling you. But God is out here protecting you and leading you. And I feel like God is also trying to lead this person, too. Yeah, see, not, uh, this karmic wants revenge. They, or they wanted revenge, but now they feel like a fool, or they're going to when they land in jail. Yeah, um, yeah, no new beginning, no abundance for them. Those are coming out in reverse. They're just going to end up losing and losing because, you know, you can't buy your way into heaven all right yeah so just know your masculine is being led out of a very volatile crazy very karmic situation 
Um, and when they lead your masculine out, I feel like that's when um, this karmic's life is about to change, but in a very negative way. Okay? You will be unaffected. Just allow the divine to keep leading you and guiding you. Okay? And trust in your faith, right? Trust in the divine. Um, and yeah, I was not expecting all of that, guys. Yeah, they're going to be suffering a lot of grief and loss over this. And, you know, here's the thing with spell work. There's no reversing it. It's got to run its course. The, the issue is, though, I feel like they, they may have unleashed, right? They opened a Pandora's box. I feel like they may have unleashed um, an entity, a dark entity, an attachment. And I don't know anything about that. But if they open, if they unleashed an entity, that entity is not going to want to let go of them. So I don't know what's going to happen to that karmic, but I feel like they're going to go to go to jail for sure. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Keep your energy clear, clean and pure, right? Do your cleansings your spiritual baths, um, salt baths, okay, um, pray, ask the divine to protect you from any negative juju being sent your way. Um, it's really important that you do that, all right? Anyway, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, take care of you and peace out.